On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, now the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica. So now the morning of my peeps, we are chatted through the war torn, crime riddled, violence prone, Kingston Western Police Division, where we will definitely be giving a serious look on happenings in that particular police division this morning. Within the past 24 hours, there has been heightened tension in the Kingston Western Police Division. So the first thing that we have a look upon is a controversial knockings and clappings that took place in a section of the Arnett Gardens community known as Havana that took place last night. Now a man who is believed to be of unsound mind was allegedly canned up and his life taken by police officers in Arnett Gardens last night. Residents has identified the man as this man presently on your screen, Peter Francis, but affectionately called in the community as Juki. Now residents are stating that this man is of unsound mind but the police reports are saying otherwise but that report by the police made the residents of the havana community in arnett gardens very much angry and they mounted a fiery roadblock for what they say is an unjust knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of the man of unsound mind so we're gonna play a little voice clip of what the residents are stating listen So the residents of the Havana housing scheme in Arnett Gardens are stating that it was indeed an unjust killing by the members of the Kingston Western Police Division. But unofficially, sources close to on the spot news media have revealed that the Kingston Western Police are refuting the claim of the residents and stating that they retrieved a firearm from the now deceased man who is said to be of unsound mind. So we don't know how that one is play out right now. But Indicom is definitely investigating this one. So on the spot news media will most definitely keep you informed as we get more information surrounding this knockings and clappings. And still in the Kingston Western Police Division, it has been confirmed from reliable sources that two Jamaica Defence Force soldiers travelling in a private motor car was shot up last night at the intersection of Lincoln Avenue and Maxfield Avenue. And both soldiers was rushed to the Kingston Public Hospital where they're presently undergoing treatment. Now, the Kingston Western Police Division has seen an uptick in crime and violence in recent months. Have done quite a few vlogs that give listings of persons of interest and also wanted men from various communities in the Kingston Western Police Division. Now, this morning, 
I will be giving you another such listing from the Kingston Western Police Division where they have listed 14 persons of interest and three wanted men, all of which is from the General Arnett Gardens community. But within the Arnett Garden community, there is other small communities within that particular space. So all of these men are from the General Arnett Gardens area. Now, first on your list is a man who had committed a murder sometime last year. He has been on the run for almost a little over a year since the commission of that murder. His name is Kareem Martin, otherwise known as Troubles, presently on your screen. Number two on that list is a man known as Nakia Campbell, otherwise known as Bolo. No pictures ascertained for this controversial figure. And others that I will be talking about, I have no pictures just yet for most of them. Number three is a man known as Stuart Burton, otherwise called Bing in the streets. The next man on that list is a man known as Andre Barracks, otherwise known as Boops or Rasta. Number five, a man known as Nikoi Waldron, otherwise known as Bonup or Bondog. Number six, a man known as Kemar Jones, otherwise known as Kisses. Number seven, a man known as Tory Bar. And number eight, a man known as Damian Walker, otherwise known as Shines in the Streets. Number nine, a man known as Debean Bryce, otherwise known as Dollar Boss. Now, I did many vlogs on this controversial figure. He's from the General Lincoln Road area and he along with other criminal elements are the main reasons for the recent flare-ups in that particular space. Number 10, a man known as Raheem Barr. Number 11, a man known as Corey Cleary. Number 12, Arnett Gardens' own Kevin Smith, otherwise known as Kevin the Streets. Number 13, a man known as Pepper Boy, said the police. Now, let me give you a little bit of additional information as it relates to Pepper Boy. Now, Pepper Boy, real name is Jermaine Sinclair. Should not have been a stranger to the police as Jermaine Sinclair has been locked up several times before. So I'm not sure why the police have him listed as a man only known as Pepper Boy. But if you check your records, officers, and I guess because officers have been shifted around from time to time, certain information would not have been privy to the ones who is presently serving. Now, number 14, a man only known as Haha. Additionally, the following individuals who are all of Arnett Gardens Kingston addresses have been listed as wanted and are asked to report to the police immediately. The first man on that list of three is Antonique Ellis, presently on your screen, known popularly in the criminal underworld as Noki. Now, this controversial figure is playing a vital part of the ongoing gang war in the general Sunlight Street era. The gang war between the upper section of Sunlight Street and the lower half of Sunlight Street and also along with criminal rivals from the general Zimbabwe area also in Arnett Gardens. The second man on that list of three, I have done many vlogs to cover stories involving this man and his criminal operatives and also criminal elements from rival gangs who are trading bullets at him. He is known as Shadane McKenzie, 
both popularly known as Murphy or Philippines in the streets. Now, this man has been wanted for quite some time, but it seems as if the long arm of the law is not long enough as he continues to elude law enforcement. The third and final man on that list is a man known as Charles Lundgren, otherwise known as Charlie in the streets. The Kingston Western Police say that all three men are wanted for a series of knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of some people. So the police are urging anyone with information that can assist in locating these persons are to contact the Denham Town Police at 876-948-6443 or Crime Stop 311 or JCF tip line at 811 are the nearest police station and if you don't trust none of them sources there of course you don't know link up on the spot news media at on the spot news media 876 on instagram or on the spot news media at gmail.com and give us the information and we will definitely pass it on to the relevant authorities who can make effective change and if you are still not trust on the spot news media we don't really have no problem with that Find a like-minded vlogger and give that vlogger the information. I'm pretty sure if that vlogger is like-minded, he will make due usage of your information and pass it on to the authorities who can make effective change. Because we do understand that not everyone will like this program because this program is definitely not for everyone. But one thing for sure, this program is for who? It is for and the last thing that we'll be speaking about is this firearm presently on your screen seized by members of the Kingston Western Police Division operations team this firearm was seized on a premises along a section of the Kingston Western Police Division known as Roach Lane and literally that little footpath is as how the name sounds Roach Lane. Now for those who is not familiar with the area, coming along Spanish Town Road, from Stats heading into the downtown Kingston, when you pass the Horizon Remand Center on your right, the next left turn would be West Road. And two streets up on your right along West Road would take you to 4th Street and just across from 4th Street you would see a footpath known as Roach Lane. Wally Palika Nakis and Clappis, Wally Palika Roaches and Parasites live up in a that little hole there. Yeah man, not saying that there is not decent law abiding citizens up there. But the rats and roaches, yeah man, the elements, the criminals are definitely hiding in those holes up there. But sadly, no arrest was made in that find. So now my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media, yeah man.